Hey guys, it's David from Breakthrough Maths here, and welcome to this video on how to solve and graph linear functions. This question is taken from the 2019 exam paper, paper one, question three, and we're gonna be doing part A. So in this question, we're told that the graph of the function f of x equals three to the power of x, where x is a real number, cuts the y-axis at the point zero, one, so the point down here, as shown in the diagram. And we are asked to draw the graph of the function g of x equals four x plus one g of x equals 4x plus 1. So now when you're drawing linear functions, or any functions for that matter, the best thing to do is to sub in a few values for x and see what you get for y, and then you'll be able to plot points based on that and then join up all the points to graph your function. And what values to use for x? Generally, the values that they give you along the x-axis, so the 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, and 2.5 in this case, are the values that you're going to use. So we're going to do that now. So g of 0 equals 1, because 4 times 0 plus 1 is 1. g of 0 0.5 is going to be 3. g of 1 is going to be 5. g of 1.5 is going to be 7. And I hope you can see, because it's a linear function, Every 0 0.5 that you go across on the x-axis, you're going to increase your y value by 2. So g of 2 is going to be 9, and g of 2.5 is going to be 11. So now we have our points, we can plot them on the graph. So 0 and 1 is going to be the same of f of x there. 0 0.5 and 3, that's going to be about there. 1 and 5, about there. 1.5 and 7. 2 and 9, we're going to intersect with f of x once again, and then 2.5 and 11. And once you've plotted your points, you're going to take out your ruler and draw a nice straight line through them. So we're going to do it just like this. Hopefully your line will be a little bit straighter than mine because you're going to use your ruler on the day of the exam. So that's how you draw a graph of the function. In the second part of the question, we're asked to use substitution to verify that f of x is less than g of x for x equals 1.9. So we're trying to prove that f of x, which is 3 to the power of x, is less than g of x, that's 4x plus 1, for x equals 1.9. And using substitution just means sub in for x. So we'll have 3 to the power of 1.9 is less than 4 times 1.9 plus 1. So when you do that on your calculator, you're going to get 8.06 is less than 8.6. It most certainly is. It is less than. So you can give your double tick. Therefore f of x is less than g of x for x equals 1.9. So now you know how to solve and graph linear functions. When you're graphing functions, sub in a few values for x, generally the values that they give you along the x-axis, and then plot your points based on what you get. Once you've plotted your points, you'll be able to join them up either using a ruler for a linear function, it'll be a straight line, or join them up by hand, but nice and neatly for any curved function like a quadratic or a cubic. Just take your time and try to draw it neatly. It doesn't have to be exact, but the general shape and style and the areas of the points that you've plotted have to be in the right place in order to get your marks.